Greetings everybody of Clan of Games Online. Welcome back to more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. In the last episode, we made our way through Group Date Cafe Stop 2. And in this episode, we're not going to be going through Group Date Cafe Stop 3. Instead, we're going to cover some quests that we haven't covered yet. We're going to go on a few strolls. We're going to do a lot of other things. So first off, we're a bit battered, so let's heal up. I recall. Spherical object. I have not forgotten. First, let's heal. I think that is of the utmost importance. Now what do we want to take? Let's start with procuring arrow materials. Are you sure you This quest is actually Is something the matter? What is it? <laughs> I see. Alright, let's get this show on the road then. Let's go ahead and handle this. Please come again. Alright. Let's go ahead and adjust our party first. Let's go ahead and put I guess in the place of Naoto. No, I wanna save this party, alright. And let's head into the labyrinth. Group date cafe. Start from entrance. Let's go. Alright. So there are three FOAs in the area. Are your preparations complete? First, let's see. Let's just start making our way to where these FOEs are. My map isn't fully updated, unfortunately, so... It's gonna be a bit tricky, but oh well. Also, that's... Three enemies are that's not what I wanted to see. No, seriously? The other unfortunate thing is, I guess, isn't very high level, so she's not gonna survive long in this dungeon. I'm just gonna escape. So that's their plan. Ow. Alright. In fact, just to make sure, let's give Igus a sub persona. Let's give her a sheet. 
so at least you can survive a bit longer in battle. Okay, I believe through here is where the FOEs are. On, over here. Right here. Time to get going. I have found it. Oikane Eidolon confirmed. I think it's safe to say this isn't the first one. Searching. A disappointing result. As they say, Oops. Hey, are you okay? Are you having a problem moving straight? I feel like this would be it. I request emergency maintenance. I guess ready for battle. This is well done. All right, that wasn't that bad. Let's go and use a go home. Let's report this request. this piece. I shall give this to you. Impressive. I bid you farewell. We did it. Now let's take another request. Investigate a rumor. Are you sure you would like to accept this quest? It seems as though. This quest will have a time. All right. Let's go ahead and leave then. Please come again. Let's go on a stroll then. But before we do this one, Group Date Cafe Mystery, we have two other strolls, so why don't we go on those? First off, I want a point. Hey. Yeah. Huh. Ray seems to be hungry as always. Wait! Mm -hmm. 
They're at it again. Yosuke. Damn it. <laughs> hey. Uh, we're not going to explain to you, Akihiko. That would probably be for the better. Next up, the Gecko Girls. I guess... Huh? Hi! Group date cafe mystery. Hello. How are you? Thank you. What? Calm down. Hmm. hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, I gotta know. Alright. 
Good work. Are you serious? <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Alright, let's stop by the Velvet Room real quick. Ah, uh, you came at the perfect time. I This unstable haven in the Rift is excellent for experimenting with the secret arts of managing personas. I've put my own spin on an ancient technique and given birth to a new method. The ritual fuels the growth of one persona at the cost of two others. I call it the sacrifice spread. Of course, the sacrificed personas are lost forever. But it's a small price to pay, no? Ah, and when certain personas are sacrificed, a portion of their power remains like a parting gift. These can be used as materials in fashioning equipment. I suggest you take them to Theo. <laughs> I hope you allow me to put this new art into practice soon. So now we have sacrifice spread. Welcome to the Velvet Room. So basically, what this does, this is basically the equivalent to leveling up a persona through social link levels. We choose a persona, we choose another one, and then we choose a persona to grow, and they're going to get bonus experience. That's basically what that is. I will see you again. And we can use it to grow. If we find any personas in the dungeons, that, and we only we can't exactly use them for fusing anything, that's how we can use them. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and readjust our party. Let's go ahead and switch. I guess out with Yukari. And. Head into the labyrinth. Start from final floor. And oops. Did I seriously just go to you and Wonderland again? I don't know how many times I made my that mistake. Coming for us. What? There's something there. Sounds like a challenge. I'll knock you to the ground. We're gonna ignoring that thing for a bit. Well, I guess it is a good thing I made this mistake, so that way we have note of this for later. For now, we are getting out of here. Now let's go to the actual correct dungeon, the Group Date Cafe. Start from f first floor. Group Date Cafe stop three. We will immediately turn around. All right. If I remember correctly. There's a question room, I do believe, right here. Yes. Is this it, Yukari? I'm guessing no. Oh, maybe. Oh. Huh? This wall. That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, maybe that is what I wanted to happen. Let's take it out, quick. Let's attack this thing with everything we've got. What? Seriously? Hmm. <laughs> well, I landed two hits. Two more hits. One more hit. Perfect. We got ourselves a lot of experience. We need to prepare for the next battle. Not bad. Can we get Mahama? I will take that in place of Hama. All right, 
Alright, so that different colored heart is somewhere in this area. Maybe it's over here? Yes. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and use a go on. And before I go ahead and turn that in, because we got the Theodore number three, might as well see how that is in comparison with our iron arrows. Has the same amount of power, but it also seems to have a bonus effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. Alright, let's go to the nurse's office. Welcome. We'll go ahead and port investigate rumor. A job well done. Why is that one different? Even with that said. This will be your reward. We get the skill card for assault shot. And a lot of experience from it as well. I have become stronger Swordbreaker. And speaking of assault shot, that's gonna be the next skill I guess we'll learn. Alright, we're gonna do one more request. Arrest the food bandit. Are you sure you would like to accept this quest? This quest is... I apologize for the wait. Uh, um, well... Hmm. I'm not sure if Elizabeth's helping the situation. I'm sorry. I see. I'll be counting on you. Well. Let's go ahead and see what this quest has Please, for us. Hmm. <sighs> Are you suspicious of everyone? Anyone? Yes. Well, everyone, yes. So too. Thank you very much. The culprit is acting alone. The culprit will lie. Everyone else will tell the truth. Flawlessly. I got it. Let's go. All right, time to go into Phoenix Wright mode. Let's we'll start with Workshop. Let's see what Theodore has to say. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Thank you very much. Huh. 
welcome. I await you. Alright, let's hear what Elizabeth has to say then. I'm sorry. I see. Let's hear it. Well, first, let's go ahead and exit. Please. Let's hear what Margaret and Marie have to say. I'm sorry. Oh. That is true. Hmm. But... Of course. That is true. Thank you very much. Alright, we have testimonies from everyone now. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I will see you again. <sighs> I think there is someone who's suspicious. Thief. That's correct. I'll see you later. All right, I've come to a conclusion. I do believe that the uh, end suspect. And the person who committed the crime is Theodore. What are you saying? Like so? the one behind this what are you saying you've just undone yourself Theodore I see are you sure my hypothesis. Hey now! My apologies. Why? 
Please, calm down. What is your problem? That is still pretty good nonetheless, Naoto. Also true, Theodore. Is that so? No. No. That solved the case. <laughs> Mostly she aced Falton. a bit harsh on I think they were a bit harsh on Theo. No. It's thanks to you. Chie likes it. It is meat after all. Huh. Welcome. Actually, I might as well take some time to sell my whole one thing. But it is still good money. Let's go ahead and turn in that quest. Jody Luck Reverse. As always, you pull through in the end. And we got an antibiotic gel.
feels good to see proof. Mm, Akihiko learns Zionga. And he's going to be learning Matarunda soon. By soon, I mean a little while, but still relatively soon, more or less. Ooh, Power Charge, that's a very good skill. That basically makes it so my attacks, once I use that, my next attack will do double damage. My next physical attack, that is. And Teddy's learning Boothla. Not bad at all. I think that about... With all that, though, I think that about does it for this episode. Next time on Persona Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth, we'll probably be going through Group Date Cafe, Stop 3. See you guys then!